Let's sodium your acetate. We are making and playing with hot ice. Before we get started making hot ice, safety is our number one priority. Make sure you always wear glasses. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date. It's a weekly dose of bad jokes and cool science. Which one should we start with first? The science. Definitely the science. Yeah, we could. But I was trying to think up a good acid pun, but they were all too basic. Anyways, we are dealing with super saturated solutions, super cooling, and a fascinating display of exothermic reactions. It looks amazing. So let's get everything ready. But before we do, a little bit of a safety disclaimer here. We are using some acids and some high heat. So we aren't responsible for your stupidity. Okay, so the most basic form of hot ice is made of two ingredients. Baking soda and vinegar. Make sure you use baking soda and not baking powder. Uh, they're different things. We're gonna add vinegar to a pot that you can heat up on the stove. And then we'll add in the baking soda, one spoonful at a time, until it stops fizzing. Don't add in too much, otherwise you'll just end up with a baking soda volcano, and it'll overflow and spoil everything. You'll want to keep going until the fizzing stops, but don't add too much. If you notice any baking soda at the bottom of the pot, just add a bit of vinegar until uh, there's none left over. Now vinegar is made up of water and acetic acid. We've neutralized the acid with the baking soda and that creates carbon dioxide bubbles. And what's left over is sodium acetate trihydrate. This just means that we have hot ice, which is what we want, but there's still too much water in it, so we need to boil it off. White cooking vinegar is 95% water and 5% acetic acid. We want to get rid of all of the water. For that reason, I went out and found some double strength cleaning vinegar, which means that it's 10% acetic acid and 90% water. You don't have to use this, you could use the white cleaning of cooking vinegar, but you get more bang for your buck from this stuff. We do need to boil off the water now. Using low to medium heat is important, otherwise you end up with brown ice. It still works, but it doesn't look as cool. Now let's boil the water off. This takes between one and three hours. Remember, the lower the temperature, the more clear the solution is going to be. You will know it's ready when a film forms on the surface of the liquid. As soon as you notice it forming, take it off the heat. If you let it heat too long and it isn't a liquid anymore, don't worry. Just add a bit more vinegar and let it boil down again. As soon as you take it off the heat, transfer it to a clean container that can safely hold hot liquids. Seal it and put it in the fridge or freezer. If it crystallizes at this stage, you didn't clean the container properly, or there might be some solid crystals in the solution. Add more vinegar and boil it again. Let it cool completely, and don't get impatient. Making it super cooled is important. Make sure you collect some of the white crystals that have formed on the bottom and sides of the pot. You'll need these to start the chain reaction later. Okay, so we've boiled it down, we've cooled it, and now we have sodium acetate. I've placed a single crystal that I collected before right in the center of this plate, and hopefully this doesn't crystallize all at once as soon as I take the lid off. And we will see if we can trigger the chain reaction. Oh, there it goes. Let's see if I can pour it out. No, oh, there's a triggering. So it is crystallizing in the in my cup. But I can still pour some of it out. Oh, and there it goes. See, it crystallized all in my container. Very cool. Yeah. So we did make a little bit of an ice sculpture. Now it's called hot ice because this is actually, feel that. It's hot, hot. Oh, yeah. This is what's inside of the instant hot packs, actually. Uh, this sodium acetate, that's what it is. We created a hot pack. Well, let's clear something up. Solids like sodium acetate dissolve more in hot water than they do in cold water. 
What we're doing here is making a super saturated solution by dissolving the maximum amount of sodium acetate that we can in hot water. So when we cool it down, there is more sodium acetate than there normally should be. With a super saturated solution, all we need to do is give the sodium acetate a spot to start crystallizing and it will all crystallize in a short period of time. Crystallizes so cool. almost instantly. If we just keep pouring it. Oh, it's crystallizing. Ah, <laughs> quit the pour it out. So it's actually. It's going inside your skin too. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. The heat is created when it crystallizes because of the stored energy we put into the sodium acetate when we were boiling it and supersaturating it. The molecules really want to save energy and stick together because right now they're just flailing around in their liquid or aqueous state, and not in their energy efficient crystallized state. And as soon as they have the opportunity to crystallize, they release all of the excess energy they were holding onto in the form of heat. Alright, let's see. There it goes. That's so cool. Oh, it's crystallizing in the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. This is one of the coolest experiments that I've seen. Hopefully we can get some good shots to show you how just awesome this looks. We made a batch that got slightly burnt. It still works exactly the same, but with a brownish color. So we decided to experiment. We mixed it purposely with a bit too much water, so that when it crystallized, it was still mushy. Make sure there is only one crystallization point and leave it in whatever container it cools in. Then you can pull out the still squishy sodium acetate crystals and mold them so they stand up, leaving their crystal shapes intact. Let them dry and you are left with super cool crystals. They harden actually really hard. We sprayed them with a few coats of clear finish and now they're ready to be displayed. Thanks for watching! We have new stuff coming out every single week, so make sure you subscribe to get a weekly dose of awesome! Stay tuned, there's bloopers coming up. And there we go. I hope this actually is sodium acetate and we're not just blowing smoke out of butts or something. <laughs> now, what I've done is I've attached a single crystal onto the end of this stick here. And then when I stick it in there, hopefully, the whole thing will just crystallize. You smell smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. Okay. That was a. Cut that. It's bull for your stupidity. It sounded bad. <laughs> oh, the most basic hot ice. Okay. I was looking at you, not the camera. God. <laughs> 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 There it goes. Mm, that's a fridge. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>